well, here it is, the video that a lot of you were waiting for. A few months ago, I announced my fourth Minecraft track competition, with the theme of Autumn. We ended up receiving some absolutely incredible submissions, and I'm not lying when I say that the top tracks here are some of the best I've ever seen in our community. If you haven't seen the showcase video yet that was released a few days ago, I highly recommend checking it out as it contains the full gameplay for each of the tracks. Well, that's all I have to say for now, so without further ado, let's dive right into the results. Coming in at number 7, with a score of 5.84 out of 10, is CT Autumn Leesway by April 9, which is really ironic because the competition video actually released on April 9th. I swear that was purely just a coincidence. But I would just like to praise how authentic this remake actually is to the original custom track. As someone who's been playing CTGP for almost 5 years, I'm definitely no stranger to Autumn Leaves Way. I seriously love how April remade it in Minecraft by keeping the charming elements such as the windmill and the wiggler. It begs the question of how other custom tracks will look in Minecraft and I really hope that more participants go in that direction for future competitions. I mean, you could always remake my own tracks and get extra points, no just kidding. But the fact that this track placed last really speaks on how insanely stacked this competition truly was. I hope to see you make more tracks April because this one was already great and I know you could only go up from here. Coming in at number 6 with a score of 6.71 out of 10 is... DS Delfino Square by Geodeo. I mean, there's not much else to really say about this one other than it being a perfect remake of the original. I do really love the block choices here. All the buildings have separate color palettes that each work perfectly together. Something I will say that is rather funny about this track is that Geodeo didn't even mean for it to be submitted to this competition, he just managed to make it in the deadline, and hey, it works. But seriously, please submit to more competitions, this remake was already wonderful. The only thing that was probably holding it back is that there was another Delfino Square in the same competition, which is unfortunate, but please make more. This one's great. And coming in at number 5 with a score of 7.13 out of 10 is Switchboard Falls by Jewels. The Switchboard sweep is real guys, everyone thought this would play 6 and here it is at 5th. I really like this one because I feel like it correlated a lot with my own building style. It's a very compact course, but it packs in so much detail and it resembles the original very, very well. I especially love the color schemes with this one. The orange grass with the white walls and green switchboards complement one another perfectly. Maybe the Irish were actually up to something. But despite the track accurately representing 3D World, there are also some background objects that truly give life into such a compact space. These include the hot air balloons, the signs, the Mario blocks, and the lush caves that truly add to the vibe that the track was going to go for. Great work, Jewels, and I hope to see you in more competitions if you have the time to participate. And suddenly, we reach the top 4. All of these tracks have a score above 8, which is absolutely insane and speaks on the immense quality that was in this competition. So, why don't we just get started and review the placements. Placing 4th with a score of 8.08 .08 out of 10 is... Delfino Square RMX by Jaden64 and Nerfed at Birth. This course is absolutely massive and an awesome take on modernizing and reviving a classic retro track. Though my favorite part about this track has to be the shortcuts. There are so many and they're all done extremely creatively. One thing that unfortunately could not make it into the showcase video were the custom sound effects on the mushroom pad and the glider ramp. These really helped make the track feel authentic to the original Mario Kart series and just elevated the experience as a whole. But don't even get me started on the alternate path in this one. The fact that there's a whole other section with a windmill and a beach all in an autumn setting is so creative and I just want to applaud them for their ability to incorporate it. I've always found the idea of adding alternate routes to retro tracks so fascinating and I hope this continues in the future. Awesome work as always Jaden and Nerfed. And coming in at number 3 is... Oh god, I can already hear the screams of pain. Is Haunted Halls by Lunar and Mr. Himalayas with a score of 8.31 out of 10. I mean, come on, this track is still amazing. There are so many different sections, but the ones I love the most, I think, are the library, the outside section with the beautiful castle, and the King Boo section. The way everything transitions is also so smooth. I don't even know how they did it. There are also some sick Luigi's Mansion references here, which makes me wonder why Nintendo couldn't do that with their track that's literally called Luigi's Mansion. Overall, does this track drag on a little? Maybe, but the build work is phenomenal, and Lunar and Mr. Himalayas did a great job as always. Please continue to participate in these competitions, you're gonna win someday Mr. Himalayas, I have faith in you. 
But now, only two courses remain, and these two are quite possibly some of the greatest builds that have ever appeared on my channel. Coming in second place, and I think we might need a drum roll for this one. Alright, that's better. Coming in second place with a score of 8.57 out of 10 is Royal Feast by Avercart. And Avercart, I just want to say, never assume that you're third ever again. This course is so creative and so well executed, the fact that I could identify every single dish and every single food on this Thanksgiving dinner table right away just speaks on Avercard's building capabilities. And the funniest thing is that this track is just an oval, but it doesn't feel like one at all. Seriously, the gameplay design is so creative. You go on some mashed potatoes, inside a turkey, flying up some steam, inside a bowl of water. I don't even understand how you can think of this. Oh, and I did even mention how the build style is inspired by Super Mario 64, and you have massive, larger-than-life paintings next to you that must have took Avercart hours to perfect. But what I believe to be the cherry on top is the massive Happy Thanksgiving sign on the wall. Most of us don't associate Autumn with Thanksgiving, but the fact that Avercart did right away just shows how willing he is to go out of the box for these competitions. Amazing work, definitely one of my favorites of the whole comp. But now we reach our winner, the highest rated track of this whole competition with a score of 8.89 is, well, you all know it by now, it's Honey High Falls by Rusty Cowboy. And I would just like to say that this was so deserved. Rusty Cowboy has a history of, for lack of a better word, being robbed in these competitions, but now he finally gets his time to shine. But the course itself is absolutely stunning. It is set around a beautiful waterfall and has some super tall trees, a cozy village, some honey hives, and a great cave to explore, as well as a ton of easter eggs and references you might not notice at first sight. I especially love the variety in the track design. You go across a massive gap, up a tree, all the way down to the start line, and inside a honey hive, a cave, even a train station. Why is there a train station here? I don't know, but Rusty managed to nail it perfectly. And if you weren't already aware, I did say I was going to remake the winner in Mario Kart Wii. You should be looking forward to that because I already have so many ideas on how to make this course work perfectly in the game. But hey, why don't we wrap it up and say incredible work Rusty, this is probably one of my favorite Minecraft tracks ever created. You did such a phenomenal job and I honestly think it's your best work to date. So, you want to join my next competition? Well, you could always click the link down below to join my Discord server to wait for an announcement when it comes. We would really like more submissions, so please don't be intimidated by the quality in these courses. You can go at your own pace, nobody will judge you. Thank you all so so much for watching or participating in this competition. You all did amazing, and I hope you all don't feel bad about your placements because everyone's tracks were phenomenal. Anyways, have a great day. Peace out.